I've choked. Hey, welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. It's Friday. That means we're doing Netflix reviews. And here is another Netflix Indian movie called Choked, Paisa Bolta High. A bank employee weighed down by her jobless husband's debts and her own broken dreams finds a secret source of seemingly unlimited cash in her home. Joked is an interesting premise. It's a fairly good drama, slice of life, um, about this young couple who um, have had their dreams broken. There's, you have the lady who, there's this uh, singing contest that she choked on, hence the title, and she feels like her husband has blamed her for that choking ever since, and their marriage is very uh, strained. I feel like if, this, if their marriage was uh, here in the UK or America, they would have been divorced by now, but they were always bickering, they were always shouting at each other, there's, there's kind of like no love seemingly in this relationship. They have this young child uh, that's in the middle. He's a cute little kid. Uh, she works at the bank and he is a, a musician uh, that's trying to write songs that isn't writing any songs. He also doesn't have a job. And so they have this really strained relationship. In amongst that, you find this story where she finds this wads of cash in her drain pipe and she thinks it's from um, like, a, like a blessing, like a miracle. And so she keeps using it. And then at the same time, there is this weird thing that happens in the government where certain notes and currency aren't um, uh, valid anymore. And so you have this weird thing going on with the bank, a kind of uh, uh, exchange in notes. This film has really weird tones to it. The music itself feels like it's, it's jazzy, but the type of jazz you'd get in a like a heist in Ocean's Eleven, that kind of thing. Uh, it fits for some reason, and I didn't think it would. It just kind of works in the moments when they do use it. And you have this young couple that even though their um, relationship is strained, um, they're very watchable on screen. That you, you like watching their slice of life. You, you kind of are uh, rooting for them to sort out um, their marriage and hopefully sort out what's, you know, not talking about it. They lack communication, guys. Damn it. Why don't people just communicate with each other? Had they had one decent conversation, they probably would have sorted out half the issues they have. Communication is key in a marriage, guys. <laughs> There's your marriage counsellor, Ruben, for today. Anyway, you you do like the family. I actually really like all of the actors and all of the interactions. I felt like the dialogue was probably the part, the strongest part of this film um, because it, it's all believable. It's a slice of life that you kind of just puts you in place in the moment of where what these guys are going through. And the the main arc story is interesting, but it almost kind of rides in the background. Um, so you, it, it's really the relationship and their family and friends of what they're going through. You know, just a slice of life but a little bit more intriguing than your everyday life and so you have this kind of like this money floating down she's kind of I guess she's kind of dreaming of what she could do with it and then she has some money issues because certain currencies are not like certain banknotes are no longer legal tender and you, you have the complications that go with that I'm trying not to do spoilers but then you have the strained relationship that goes on different tiers of development um, as they go along and you know obviously things get more and more strained and there's more and more tension because of money and uh, eventually things kind of culminate to a moment that uh, I guess would either sort them out or break them and I, th I thought the way it sorted itself out was pretty good I quite like the story I do think it's a little bit long at two hours I think they could have cut some of the panding out there uh, probably maybe the two songs I know it's the culture but it, it, did, it doesn't need it's not a Bollywood movie not at all uh, it not not that that's a, its own genre it's not a, a one of the Indian films that has like lots of Bollywood musical numbers uh, but I, I felt like it didn't need the two um, it could have just been a nice slice of life drama with that little bit of uh, stuff going on inside. So uh, that was my only kind of niggle take by it. It's a bit too long and didn't need those songs. But the songs are there and they're fun. And you, there's one particular song that we have a whole bunch of people singing with their phones and their torch lights. And I thought that was really interesting, quite fun to watch for that moment, even though I felt like it really takes you out of the pace and tone of what they were going for, this reality check. It's filmed quite well. Uh, I enjoyed the filming uh, techniques. Um, there's nothing to write home about but you know between the acting and the filming and uh the story itself it keeps you engaged uh this is much better than the film i watched recently today so i kind of breathe a sigh of relief even though it's very slow there's no action the the dialogue and the characters keep you engaged and i think that's fun so let me know in the comments below what did you think of this thanks so much for watching this review but most of all until next time remember live long and tuesday